In this second oxidation number video, I'm going to look at systematic naming. So we'll start with this copper 1 chloride and copper 2 chloride are both chlorides of copper, but what's the difference? So these Roman numerals, this Roman 1 here and this Roman 2, we use those to indicate the oxidation number of an atom that can exist in more than one oxidation state. So in this case, copper can exist in more than one oxidation state, so we need the Roman numerals to indicate which oxidation state is present in the compound. And names that include these Roman numerals are called the systematic names. So this is actually a systematic name, and so is this one. So I'll do one worked example, and then I've got some for you to try, and then I'm going to move on to ions, and again, some for you to try. So we're going to determine the systematic name for this oxide of iron. So I'm just going to put the formula up again. And I'm going to establish the oxidation numbers of the atoms in the compound. So those three oxygens have a minus two oxidation number each. So to leave no charge, we need the um, iron, the two ions to be putting in plus six. So each one must be plus three. So therefore, this oxide has a systematic name of iron Roman three oxide. Okay, so there's four for you to try. So if you want to pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so the first one, so we've got these two oxygens, so minus two for each of those. So to keep this thing neutral, the manganese has to be in the plus four oxidation state. So that oxide is called manganese four oxide. Moving on to the next one, so we've got four O's minus two each, so just write four minus twos there, so that's minus eight. Altogether, we've got a potassium, so that's a group one metal, so that's in the rules, plus one for that. So to keep this whole thing neutral, the manganese needs to be plus seven. Okay, so this one's called potassium manganate, because it's manganese with oxygen, Roman seven. Next one, V2O5, so we need five minus twos. So that's a total of minus 10. So the two Vs have to keep this neutral. And so each V must be plus five. So this is called vanadium five oxide. And the last one I've already made a start there. So we've got seven minus twos. We've got two plus ones for the two potassiums. So we'll just think about the numbers, how they stack up at the moment. So minus 14 plus 2, so we've got minus 12 altogether at the moment. So these are going to have to be plus 6 each to keep it neutral. So plus 6 plus 6. So this is called potassium dichromate. So chromium and oxygen, chromate, but it's dichromate because there's two chromiums in there. 6, because the oxidation number of the chromium is plus 6. So in the next part of the video, I'm just going to move on to ions. The process is exactly the same. We just need to be left with the charge at the end. So the worked example is this one here. Determine the systematic name for this ion, SO4, 2 minus. So like I did before, just write the formula out again. Those four oxygens have a negative two oxidation number each. So they would give a combined negative value of eight but we need to be left with a two minus charge overall. So the sulfur needs to be plus six. So when you combine plus six with minus eight, you get the charge of two minus. So this ion is called the sulfate. Sulfur and oxygen is sulfate. Sulfate six, but it's a Roman six, so it's VI. So just to finish, some for you to try. So again, just pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so we've got three oxygens minus two each. So that's minus six from those three oxygens, but we need to be left with this charge of two minus. So the sulfur must be plus four. So this is the sulfate, so sulfur and oxygen, sulfate, four ion. Next one, again, we've got three oxygens, so minus six for those three oxygens, but we need to be left with the charge of three minus, so the phosphorus must be plus 
three. So this is called the phosphate, phosphorus and oxygen, phosphate three ion. So the last two are similar in the sense that they both contain chlorine and oxygen. So they're both going to be chlorate ions. They're just going to have different Roman numerals in their names. So the oxygen is the more electronegative of the two atoms. So it carries the minus charge or the minus oxidation number. So we've got one oxygen in this one. So negative two for that one oxygen. But we need to be left with one minus. So the chlorine must be plus one. So that's called the chlorate one ion. And the final one, we've got four oxygens now. So that's minus eight from those four oxygens. We need to be left with a one minus charge. So the chlorine's now in its plus seven oxidation state. So that's called the chlorate seven ion.